Tonight, there's reason to keep a close watch on the Tennessee legislature. Local 24 political analyst takes, Otis Hanford takes a closer look at the issues on the table for the divided group of lawmakers. Here's tonight's point of view. There are plenty of changes in store at the state capitol as the Tennessee legislature convenes today for its 111th General Assembly. Many familiar faces will be missing, including longtime Senate Majority Leader Mark Norris of Collierville, who is now a federal judge. Others who won't be there include outgoing House Speaker Beth Harwell and former House Minority Leader Craig Fitzhugh. In all, there will be 31 new lawmakers when the session begins, 27 in the House alone. More new members will be added later following special elections. And let's not forget that in 11 days, a new governor will be sworn into office. But one thing probably won't change, and it bears watching closely throughout the session. That is the growing chasm between the Republican-controlled legislature and local government. The two sides have been at odds on a number of issues for years. But the differences were ratcheted up tremendously a year ago after Memphis political leaders found a way to take down Confederate monuments from city parks by selling the parks at a cut rate to a nonprofit group. Republican lawmakers were livid and threatened to take away funding from the city. Now a new dispute is boiling over after Shelby County officials said they would not enforce a new state law designed to ban sanctuary cities. So instead of easing tensions, the ill will seems greater than ever. Stay tuned. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.